This is a Chucky Beat production. What's good, y'all? This is Coach Vaughn, and I'm so excited because this week, one of the one of the young men that I train said something to me that I thought it just made my day, y'all. What he said to me was, Vaughn, how is it that you have gotten to where you've gotten to? You gotta understand, this blew my mind because this young man does not know my story. This young man does not know some of the challenges that I've gone through over the course of the past 10 years to get to where I am. He doesn't know the, the, the days where I didn't have money in my pocket, all right? He doesn't know the pain of going that I went through in terms of going through a broken relationship. He doesn't know all the struggles that have gotten me really to this point. Him asking me that question was just an affirmation to me that the principles that I've been trying to share with you all over the course of the past several years, that these principles actually work. Because these principles have landed me in a position now to where somebody feels that I'm in a position to be of value to them on their journey, all right? Uh, somebody, without me saying anything, this is not me bringing anything up to him. I didn't provoke a conversation about this. This was just a young man who saw that when he looked at me, I didn't have to open up my mouth to in order to say that I have gotten somewhere. Where I was, the work that I've been doing has spoken for itself. And I've been waiting for so long to get to this point, y'all, that, that, that I said, listen, I, I had to share it with you all. And so my mind is blown because I remember when I wrote my book, all right, and some of you all bought my book. And I, I, I wrote the principles out in there because I knew that these were the principles that would get me one day to my dream. But if I'm truthful with you all, sometimes when I was in the middle of the struggle, it didn't feel like I was going to get here. It did not feel like things were going to eventually work out for me. It did not feel like anybody would really look up to me one day, even though the principles I was sharing were good. So now to be in this position to where um, I, like, I don't have to struggle as much. I don't have to worry about limiting what I eat as well, except that I want to be healthy, right? But, but, and of course, it's still good to be on a budget. But I, I don't have to worry about whether or not I can fill up my gas tank, right? I don't have to worry, of, watch this, I don't have to worry about whether or not I can give to others as much anymore, right? I don't have to only worry about living for myself, but I can do more for, a little bit more for, I can't do everything now, but I can do a little bit more for others. Why? Because of the work that I put in. So, as I reflected on this, I said, what I want to do for you, because there are other people who are going through challenges, and watch this, this is a young man who was in prison for six years and is only recently getting out, okay? And he's decided that he's going to uh, grab his horse by the reins, so to speak, and he was going to take control of his life. And this is a young man who I see leadership in him. I know that he's going to be a beast, all right? But he has to go through his process. But some of you all who are watching also have to go through your process and you're trying to get to certain places in life. And I wanna make sure that I don't miss the opportunity to capitalize on where I am now to pour into you. So for example, I, what one of the, some of the things that I'm gonna share, I'm gonna do a whole series where I just share some of the production. principles and break them down and get into the details of how it is that I've gotten now to this position to where I'm the pro, uh, professional development specialist for a prominent nonprofit in Washington, D.C. Now listen up. I'm not sharing these, I'm not going to share these things with you because I want you to be a copycat as far as trying to go into the same industry that I'm in or even trying to ha have the same job that I have. No, that's not the point here. But what I want you to do is it, it, there are certain principles that I'm going to share that got me where I am that they, they transfer to all industries, okay? They transfer to uh, any job. They transfer to any business. Why? Because these are the types of principles that you just have to apply as a human being if you are going to get anywhere worthwhile, period. Okay? So, so for instance, and I'm just going to give you a quick example because I want you to just kind of get an understanding of what I'm talking about. So, me... I usually am a person, I'm a big picture thinker. That's what I'm naturally gifted at. I'm able to see the big picture and how all the pieces fit together. The challenge that I have is that I don't really like to get into the details of the small puzzle pieces, okay? That's not my, that's not my automatic skill. That's not my automatic gift. 
But one of the things that I had to do over the course of the past five years was if I was going to really get it, get to where it is that I wanted to be, I realized that I was only going to get there if I learned how to get and dig into the details a little bit more. Now, does that mean that I'm going to be the most detail-oriented person in the world? Probably not, right? But I had to at least be, learn how to understand to get into the details enough so that so that I could know what the details were so I could put the pieces together and I can make my dreams happen. So let me get more specific even right now, right? So let's take resumes, for example, or let's take having conversation, networking conversations or interviews, okay? What I would do is I would generally tell people I'm interested in motivating young people to in order so that they can get their jobs and that they would be empowered and that they could go and start businesses, etc., etc., right? But what I was not unable to do, even though I saw this in my mind, often what I was unable to convey was that that looked like helping young people uh, write resumes helping them to write cover letters, helping them to understand the industries that they were gifted for and being able to go into those industries, okay? Um, helping them to do self-assessments, figure out what their gifts, skills, and talents naturally were, and then helping them to connect those gifts and skills and talents with an industry that calls for those gifts, skills, and talents, okay? And then being able to go deeper than that, but helping them to understand the education that they might be getting, whether they be in college, or whether they be in high school or whether they be maybe young adults and they just might educate themselves what I realized is that many young adults especially black young adults were unable to connect uh, the, the the learning that they were getting with what it takes to actually live in real life what it takes to actually make it in real life you could learn all the science in the world you could learn all the English in the this world etc etc et and still gosh, when you step into adulthood not really know what it takes to actually make life work okay so now I'm able to articulate these things a little bit better right so what I want to help you all to do is to figure out what is the lane that God has uh, blessed you to be in and how do you how do you understand who you are self-awareness right all the things I talked about really go get back to me being self-aware and how do I once I'm self-aware how do I figure out how to leverage um, my skill set my gifts my talents and my opportunities in order to get into a place where I'm able to provide for myself where I'm able to provide for my loved ones where I'm able to now to be an asset to my community and the space that I find myself in man so I'm going to get into detail we're going to talk about self-awareness we'll talk about um um what what the job outlooks are right now we'll talk about uh relationships okay and we'll talk about the nitty-gritty just various things that I believe will get you to where you need to be okay so this is Vaughn man I'm excited uh, about this series average is failure man and i just want y'all to to know that i'm rooting for you all and we're gonna make this thing happen okay y'all have a good evening um or a good day morning whenever it is that you're watching this and let's get this thing done y'all peace out